Hi, I'm Luke Ranieri. I want to tell you about Latin, how and why you should learn it. Learning Latin is like being able to see The Matrix. If you've seen the movie The Matrix, you might remember how at the end of the first movie, the character Neo is finally able to see the code which makes up all the Matrix. He can almost literally see the Matrix and therefore control it and manipulate it. Learning Latin is just like that. Let me explain. English is made up 70% of words uh, from either Latin, French, or Greek, and the way they came into English was all through a similar way. In a, a rough way, you can say they're all the 70% of English vocabulary is all Latin or very closely related to Latin. The words from French, for example, are mostly of Latin origin. Why does that matter to us? I mean, if we can only, if we can learn English, like as I'm an English speaker, and uh, those of you listening and understanding me are English speakers, why should we bother to learn a language, a supposedly dead language? Well, the reason is that English grammar, the way it still works even today in 2015, is not divorced from the grammatical structures of Latin. It's not divorced from vocabulary, how to form words. Understanding Latin, moreover, allows us to understand complicated scientific vocabulary and even very common terminology, daily terms that we encounter all the time. Without understanding Latin, what happens from what I see is I see people using words in strange and funny ways, ways that people might not have done uh, over a hundred years ago when learning Latin was more common in academic circles. Now learning Latin isn't nearly as common. So I advocate Latin for all sorts of reasons. One is just to understand English. In fact, I say, in my opinion, it's impossible to truly understand English, even as a native speaker, without going to the trouble of at least learning Latin, as well as the other constituent languages, which make up our fantastic language, which is, which is English. So as for uh, other reasons, it, once I was able to learn Latin, I was able to learn uh, I already spoke Italian at the time, but I was able to learn Italian much better. And then I was able to pick up French and Spanish. I was able to learn how to read Portuguese. It's very similar. The Romance languages are all the daughter languages of the parent language Latin, so they have a lot of things in common. And if you study the individual Romance languages, you can see, okay, they all came from this vulgar Latin. But understanding the true origin of it gives an incredible advantage over being able to learn them so much faster. And then there are grammatical structures, which are not in the Romance languages, which are in Latin and in German and in Greek. I'm talking about a case system, if you know what that is. They're in Russian. There are even elements of it in Japanese. So learning Latin opened up my mind to this whole world of languages. And I'm extremely grateful that my curiosity turned into an obsession. One of the ways I became obsessed with it is I wanted to speak it. I wanted to find other people who spoke it. And uh, if you... Uh, have either come to see this video because it's your goal to learn Latin and you came here very deliberately, or you fell down an internet rabbit hole and you came here by accident, then uh, at least now you have a goal which you might want to strive for, and I'll tell you what it is. There are conventions around the world. Uh, there's one in Rome, one in Naples, and one I've been to, which is in Lexington, Kentucky, the University of Kentucky. Fantastic. This um, professor named Terence uh, Tunberg runs it, and I got to meet and communicate with this professor as well as at least a hundred other Latin speakers from around the country and the world for a, this week-long fantastic event in which we were only permitted to speak Latin and talk about literature in Latin. It was a wonderful thing, and in fact I made a video about it in Latin uh, when I was doing Latin news broadcasts uh, about six years ago for fun. I'll give you the links to those YouTube videos uh, in the description. That was the thing that I want to be able to do, to speak Latin and to be able to, to communicate with other people. So a goal for you, too, might be, can you actually go to a convention like this, learn Latin well enough to be able to talk about all sorts of subjects, communicate on uh, about daily affairs, and also about literature and history only by means of the Latin language, much like Europeans used to do. English is the universal language today. Latin was the universal language, not just in the Roman times, but in the Middle Ages, in the Renaissance, all the way up pretty much until the uh, 1900s. So, uh, how to learn it, I have a much uh, more extensive article which goes in depth specifically what you should do. But I want to show you the one most critical piece which will allow you to learn Latin faster than any other method. 
and that is this book, Lingua Latina, and this month is actually the 10-year anniversary when I got this book. You see it's well, well used. Lingua Latina by Hans Udvig. He was actually, uh, he's a Dane, which is why his name is, has that slash through the O. Very nice guy. He passed away a few years ago. After I finished this book, which teaches you how to become a fluent reader and writer of Latin, I wrote him an email. The email address is right in there. And was able to thank him and we exchanged emails back and forth a few times. And that was such a pleasurable experience to, in three months, just three months, with having no, almost no Latin experience, to go from that level of nothing to complete fluency and be able to communicate with this Danish professor completely in Latin. That was great. So what's so special about this book? It's all in Latin. There is no English or Spanish or Italian or any other modern language in it. Only Latin. So th this is the very first page. You can see it's a map of Europe written all in Latin. You see especially Europa for Europe, Italia, Italy, and you see Roma is down there, the city of Rome. And the very first sentence is Roma in Italia est. Rome is in Italy. Italia in Europa est. Italy is in Europe. Garaikia in Europa est. Greece is in Europe. So through pictures and marginal notes, which are throughout, and beautiful illustrations, I have this old version, which is not in color, but some years ago they took, put it all in color. Beautiful version. And it explains the entire language from the very first, most basic phrase that you saw through poetry. How to read poetry, how to scan poetry. Fantastic. And that's just the first part. Uh, the second part goes uh, much further into the literature. The new versions don't look like this. They're not orange and green. They're a, a very pretty brown uh, color. Look like an old leather-bound book. But the first one is not only amazing because it effectively gives you the entire Latin language only by means of Latin, cumulatively, gradually, from these baby steps to fantastic passes, which allow a person to become a fluent reader. Not only that, but it has a great story. It's a story about a Roman family and their slaves. And a couple of slaves, they try to get away and go back to Greece, where they're from. And it's incredibly entertaining. You will want to become fluent in Latin. You'll want to keep learning Latin just to find out what happens in the story, because you have to progress. So do that. Uh, I'd strongly recommend that. And one uh, more thing, another tip I did which works for this book and uh, works for other ways of learning a language or things that you really want to commit to memory. I rewrote it. I retyped the entire thing over the course of three months as I was doing it. And by the end, I was fluent in reading and writing Latin. And in the year that came after, in my, my free time, I learned how to pronounce Latin correctly and uh, learned how to speak it. So I am one of the few Latin speakers in the world and in case you aren't convinced, I six years ago, more actually, seven years ago, I made a whole YouTube channel called Scorpio Martianus. In fact, there's a website too that goes with it, scorpiomartianus.com. I'll give you the link for that, which is all stuff in Latin that I did. I don't do as much with Latin as I used to, uh, just as a matter of uh, how much free time I have available. But it was a fantastic experience. It was one of the most important formative experiences of my life learning Latin. It changed the way I think and the way I see the world was incredibly helpful and I recommend it to almost anyone in the world, especially for foreigners wanting to learn English better, wanting to learn almost any other foreign language, any language that's been touched by Latin. Even learning Japanese was easier for me because I knew Latin, because I knew a complicated grammatical structure. I think it's good for anybody who wants to go to the effort and the article which accompanies this video tells you exactly the way to do that. Good luck.